In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the difference between distance and displacement. We're going to define each. We're going to explain how they are different from each other. And we're also going to solve a couple of problems involving distance and displacement. Distance and displacement are not the same thing. Despite what you've heard in the past, and despite the fact that some people use these two interchangeably, distance and displacement are not the same, and it's important to understand that. For instance, in physics, distance is used to calculate speed. Speed, remember, is change in position over change in time, or distance divided by time, d over t. In physics, displacement is used to calculate velocity. Velocity is equal to displacement over time, or x, which stands for displacement, over delta t, which is time. Here are three different runners. They're going to run from A over to B. Our first runner travels directly from A to B. Here's his path. It's a straight line. Second runner travels from A to B. He travels in a curved path. Here's his path. And our third runner does something a little bit different. Our third runner is going to travel from A to B, but then he's going to turn around and come right back to A again, just like that. If we look at his path, it looks something like this, from A to B, and then from B back to A again. Distance, by definition, is the total length of the path traveled, or how much ground an object covers. In the first situation, our runner traveled from A to B. That was a distance of 125 meters. In the second situation, our runner traveled from A to B, but he traveled in a curved path. So obviously the distance he would have traveled would be more. And this guy travels something like 200 meters. In the third situation, our runner traveled a distance of 250 meters. Why? Because he traveled 125 meters from A to B and then another 125 meters from B back to A again. Three different distances. 125 meters, 200 meters, and 250 meters. Distance, remember, is the total length of the path traveled. Distance is referred to as a scalar quantity. A scalar quantity because it doesn't have a direction. A scalar quantity is simply a measurement with no direction. Now let's talk about displacement. Here's our three runners again. The first runner is going to run from A to B, just like he did before. It's a straight line. There's the path. His displacement is 125 meters east. Displacement is the straight line distance and direction between the starting and ending points, or how far and in what direction the object is displaced from the origin, which is A. Second runner, remember he traveled in a curved path from A to B. Now remember, Think back, his distance, if I recall correctly, was 200 meters. But look at his displacement. His displacement is 125 meters east. Why? Well, simply because displacement is the straight line distance and direction between the starting and ending points. Here's the third situation. Remember, he ran from A over to B and back to A again. That would be positive 125 meters or 125 meters east. 
you'll notice that that positive sign can tell you that this has a direction. When you see a positive sign in front of a displacement, it means that's the direction. Positive would be to the right. Or I can say, in this case, east. Just depends on how I want to state it. But it has a direction. You also turned around and traveled 125 meters west, or negative 125 meters. Why is that significant? Because it means his displacement is zero. When he travels from A to B and then back to A again, at the end of the, of the scenario, he has not been displaced from his origin or from his starting point. His displacement is equal to zero. Displacement is referred to as a vector quantity. It is a vector quantity because it has a direction. A vector quantity is simply a measurement with a direction, a magnitude with a direction, an amount with a direction. Let's look at that again. Our runner runs from A to B. That's positive 125 meters. Then he turns around and runs negative 125 meters. The sign of the number is telling you what the direction is. Remember, of course, that displacement is a straight line distance and direction between the starting and ending points, or how far and in what direction the object is displaced. If we look at this on a number line, it looks like this. Positive 125 meters. Negative 125 meters. If we add these two together, we get a displacement of zero. That sign is important. And we'll talk more about that later on in a future lesson. But for right now, just remember that that sign can tell you the direction. Oh, you can use east or west or up or down or left or right. Or you can use a sign on the number to tell you the direction. So remember, distance versus displacement. What's the difference? Distance, recall, is the total length of the path any object takes. Distance, remember, is a scalar quantity. It does not have a direction. It just has a magnitude, an amount, but no direction. Displacement, however, is the straight line distance and direction from the origin. Displacement, remember, is a vector quantity. It is a magnitude or a measurement with a direction. Let's take a look at a simple problem. Here's our runner. He's going to travel from A to B. You notice he traveled a curved path. His distance is 200 meters. His displacement was 125 meters east, or we could say positive 125 meters. Positive means to the right on your paper or east. And like I said, we'll talk about that later in a future lesson. So Mo jogs 125 meters from A to B in a time of 50 seconds. A, what is his speed? And B, what is his velocity? We calculate his speed. Speed, remember, is distance divided by time. Speed is 200 meters, that's his distance, divided by the time, 50 seconds, and that gives us 4 meters per second. Now we look at the velocity. And you can see that something's going to be different here. Velocity, remember, is displacement, or x over t. It's not distance over time, it's displacement over time. And if you look at the diagram, you can see that the, dis that the displacement is 125 meters east, or positive 125 meters. So his velocity is simply positive 125 meters divided by 50 seconds, which gives us 2.5 meters per second. 
positive 2.5 meters per second. Or I could say 2.5 meters per second east or 2.5 meters per second left or 2.5 meters per second to the right. So I chose to use the sign on the number, so I'm going to say his velocity is positive 2.5 meters per second. Look at the difference between the two. And now you know the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is the total length of the path traveled. Displacement is the straight line distance and direction between the origin and the ending point.